Hey guys. Hi everyone. So we're here in York, just in Dean Park outside of the York Minster at the moment. Yeah, we've got uh, hopefully got an action packed couple of days planned. We're staying over at the Travel Lodge over at Micklegate. Um, there's so much to see and do here in York. We come here all the time, but we always regret not staying overnight. Yeah, so for the first time we're going to stay overnight and we'll show you our adventures along the way. So we'll take you down the famous Shambles, a few of the different famous pubs, One Haunted, um, and yeah, lots of different adventures. I think we're going to start the day off with some food though. Yeah, definitely want some food. So we saw on TripAdvisor that was uh, the highest rated was Drake's Fish and Chips, so we're going to go and check that out now. So we're here at Drake's Fish and Chips and this is meant to be the best fish and chips in York, so we shall see. It looks really good, it smells amazing. I can't fit this chip up. <laughs> it failed. It sounds like the suspense is killing me. The chips are really fresh. Nice and soft. Very good chippy chip. I'll try the fish. The batter is very crunchy, as you can hear. Let's oh, break a bit. Sea good to see That's the inside. So this is, is it haddock? It's haddock. This is haddock. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, the batter's very crispy, um, very hot. You can tell it's made fresh. Um, yeah, just lovely white flaky fish. Okay, let's try a chip. Mm. Curry sauce is brilliant. Yeah. Uh, white water. The fish is just broken apart. Yeah, so. yeah really t not tender, flaky. Fish. Yeah, the batter's amazing, salted to perfection, curry sauce is lovely. Yeah, I can believe it's the best. So, we just finished our meal over at Drake's Fish and Chips, and it definitely is, I'd say, the best fish and chips I've ever had, so I get why yeah, it's sick. number one in your yeah. Definitely better than any Nero's. Yeah, fish was absolutely fantastic, chips were amazing, curry sauce was fantastic. It was all uh, made right fresh, weren't it? Right yeah. Here. yeah. Yeah, so we're not sure what we're going to do now, but we just saw some street forms going on over here, but it looks like it might have just finished actually. Good timing. Yeah, good timing, yeah, <laughs> great. Uh, I think we're going to find a pub and then uh, see where we go from there. But here's the crowd going into the shambles now, and it is uh, it's no joke. Yeah, it was quite busy. Come back here come back. We'll have a quick look down the street, and then we'll see if um, we can get down it. Yeah, but there's, there's, <laughs> I think uh, Diagon Alley was actually the inspiration for the street, and we've actually got a video which we'll link down below if you want to take a look. There's no one on the street at that time either. So. Yeah, so as <laughs> you can see, as you can see down here, it is just absolutely insane. I think we'll come back here later, eh? Yeah, did you get my shocked face then? I'm yeah. really close. <laughs> Okay, so we've just come to uh, Clifford's Tower. Uh, we're just reading this information plaque here. still shining a little bit we'll come to the riverside in york um it's lovely here there's like five or six different clubs along the street it's not really a strip but let's call it a strip but it's, it's cute dogs walking past all the time so. um 
But yeah, you can just come here. You have to queue for a little while. There's something to like get a table and sit by the riverside, but it's well worth the wait. We waited about 10 minutes. Um, I've gone for a beer and moretti. Which is very good. And Lou has gone for a uh, Fon Star Martini. Yeah, so we're going to have a bit of a, a break here. We've, we've done a little bit of culture, so we thought we'd reward ourselves with a drink by the riverside. While the weather's so nice like this as well, we love to take advantage of that outdoor seating bit. So a ladybird's just landed on Dane. I feel at one with nature. If it starts to fly, I might drop the camera. Oh my God. <laughs> There's <laughs> nothing there for you, dude. Pigeons here as well. Bird whispers. So we thought we'd try something a little different. So I'd seen online there's a place called Valhalla in York. So we're going to go and try there. And you can drink mead out of a horn. So I'm quite excited for that. Yeah, I'm going to go for it as well. Uh, apparently that's what people used to drink back in the day. Like, it was mead or nothing, basically. So this would be exciting. So we're staying at the Travel Lodge in York at Micklegate. This is one of the super rooms, so we've got the nice bed, full length mirror, hair dryer, TV, radiator, which to be honest with how hot it was when we walked it's on, hot. it is on. Why is the heating on when it's 19 degrees? Anyway, we got a nice chair. We've got a couple of reading lights, main light, we can adjust it like a dimmer. And we've got a couple of plug sockets there. A couple of plug sockets on this side as well. Like I said, it's boiling in here today. A little desk with an office chair. We've put the fan on because it's boiling, but I didn't realise the ra radiator was on. Yeah, we left the radiator on before we came in here, so like it's absolutely roasting. It's about 20 degrees outside now, so still pretty hot anyway. Um, yeah, bear of bad news when we did turn this fan on. You can probably see it on this office chair here, like the amount of dust that actually blew off it was pretty gross. Yeah, that's um, not the best. I'm thinking maybe not a lot of people have used the fan, but still, no excuses yeah, really. Um, the carpet is not looking great. To be honest, uh, what the hell is that? Yeah, <laughs> we'll avoid that area. Yeah. Um, and then we've got a coffee machine, we've got a kettle, a couple of Kit Kats, hot chocolates, tea coffee, a couple of cups. You can open the window this much, which is helping a little bit. This is our view. Well, really, it's this, but if I look up, it's this. And then we have an ironing board and a few hangers and iron just throwing our stuff there mm. so the bathroom got a mirror sink shaving port hand soap toilet bin toilet roll towel this is the shower so no bath it's just a walk-in shower What was that? Me moving the fan. Oh. So this is the shower. We brought our own shower gel and stuff because we don't like that it's just hand wash and shampoo and everything all in one. It's fine for what it is. It's just one day. It's just one day. I do like this art on the wall of things in York. Oh yeah. Right, so we've just left our furnace of a room. And like, to be honest, we're, we're only in a travel lodge. We're, we're, you get what you pay for. Yeah, it's cheap frills, isn't it? <laughs> we're gonna go and walk the wall now, but it's um, it's very busy in York today. And there's been like three or four occasions, because we're pretty awkward. Yeah. Pretty awkward, right? There's been three or four occasions. You know the dance you do when you're in town and like oh, one person oh, goes, oh, 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 sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we've done that like so many times. Yeah. It's, a... <laughs> it's very awkward. Yeah. So we are in York. 
Park Cathedral Gardens. This area really reminds me of the Whitby Abbey, sort of the ruins. The tiniest little owl ever. Hello, little one. Aww. Aww. Look at him looking at us, all squinty. We didn't meet the owl. No, literally, we were next in line to pay and the car machine was on low battery, so we turned into a cash rolling operation. And we didn't have any. So, uh, yeah, we, they're back tomorrow though, so hopefully we're gonna get to hold an owl tomorrow. We're now looking for the entrance to this kind of segment of York, York city walls. I can't seem to find it. Yeah, we keep looking. I've, I have seen it around, but I can't see how you join it. So, yeah, we're uh, exploring a little bit here. Yeah, we'll keep you posted. <laughs> Okay, so we finally found the wall. Uh, we're just about to go in it now, but we just saw this plaque and it marks the site of something called, uh, let's give this a go, uh, Porta Principalis Dextra. So we just want to in the wall now. I think this is the best view of York Minster you can get, to be honest. bank in York. Now I was going to try the vegan burger just out of curiosity but they have actually run out. Look kind of cool. I was going to get un-vegan like uh, mac and cheese but unfortunately they ran out of it. So I'm now going to try the fake steak pie. I'm still thinking about trying these <laughs> fake versions of things. Me I am so. I think we'll see what the fake steak pie is like. So there's no pies so I'm not having a pie either. So Take three, I'm gonna have some mac and cheese. I mean, I'm not complaining, I love a bit of mac and cheese. We had a look at the city walls before, but we thought, um, we thought we were booked in for half six, we were actually booked in for six o'clock, so we were pretty much past, past York Minster about five minutes before we had to get to the old bank pub, so we had to run away quickly. But um, what we did see was cool, and we're gonna do it properly tomorrow. So, Dane's chicken combos arrived, and I'm so jealous because this is mine, and the chips are. I've got a little bit of that as well, chips, mac and cheese, garlic bread, and then I've got like a grilled bit of chicken here, some wings here, and some goujons here as well. Um, chips and mac and cheese. The chips are okay, but the seeds are mac and cheese a bit. Okay. A bit of salt pepper. Oh, tender. Like it's out of a packet. <laughs> I could agree more, it tastes very flat. Um, it's not very like, the other ones that we had, it's sort of had a stringy cheese to it, like it was full of a bit of mozzarella or something. Yeah, 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 something else. I'm here for the drinks, I guess, now. So, honest opinions, we've been here before, but only for drinks. Really enjoy the atmosphere. The drinks are fantastic, the offers are good. The food, I asked for two different vegetarian vegan meals, I didn't have either of them, so I ended up with the mac and cheese, which looked just like a side order with a side salad. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting this. I, I don't know what the other meals are like, but personally, it put me off getting a different meal. I've come here for drinks. I think it's a good buy, but I wouldn't recommend getting food here. Yeah, that sounds sensible to me as well. I mean, I ordered the chicken combo, so it came with chicken wings, chicken tenders, and like a, some grilled chicken goujons as well. Um, I also tried the mac and cheese, chips, and I got a piece of garlic bread as well. The garlic bread was good, the chips were not so great, neither was the mac and cheese. I could have eaten a whole pot of it like I ordered there, but not done that at all. The chicken wings were okay at best, the breaded chicken and strips were dry, and the grilled chicken was extremely dry. So, yeah, maybe there's other things on the menu which you'll enjoy. 
Um, but based on what we have tonight, I probably wouldn't eat here again. There's so many good places to eat in York. So we're here at Lundell Cellars. Dane has gone for a double JD and Coke, and I've gone for the pink grapefruit gin and tonic. So this is the one that I had at Chester Zoo and I loved, so I thought, why not try it again? It's been another nice day. Yeah, the, uh, the bartender also recommended a Mediterranean tonic water as well, so maybe that will change the flavour. I don't know much about gin. No, uh, to be honest, me neither, so we'll see how that goes. I love the feeling in here. So we're in Lendl Cellars, like I said. I just let's have a look around. It is really cool. It's a good feeling. They've not got live music on at the minute, so we are going to wander out after these drinks, and we'll take you along with us. So we've decided to call by the street name of the funniest name, Whitma Watmagate. Have you been here before? Let us know. We're here because we're going to go back to go to the Golden Fleece, which is claimed to be the most haunted pub in the UK. Maybe even the world. Ooh.